Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have the Fossil Rachel bag in the colour Fig. So to those who follow my channel know that I'm a huge fan of nappy bags and I only do reviews on nappy bags because that's what I've been carrying every day. But this was a super random purchase uh, because there was a sale and I couldn't help myself. It was a huge rave about the Fossil Sydney bag and I do have that one in black as well so maybe one day I'll do a comparison between the two. But right now I've been using the Rachel um, satchel because it's, it is a little bit more structured than the Sydney one. I find that the Sydney satchel the leather is really nice and soft so it slouches a little um, where the Rachel is um, a little bit more structured so I find like as you know I'm a huge fan of structured bag because I like that things kind of stay in place and I don't have to play around with the bag so this size bag has been working really well for me um, I've used it to drop Haley off at kindy and pick her up trips to the store and it's been really comfortable. I wear it crossbody. I don't have any problems with the um, straps. Okay, so let's have a close look at the bag. So it has two zips to open the bag and um, the hardware is made out of gold. Now the gold looks like it's not very matte. It does have a little bit of a gloss to it. Um, it's very sturdy sort of hardware. The zip's smooth and the um, zipper pull itself has the leather like tassel on it um, and at, at a very nice length so it's easy to find. The strap here has a like gold stud and I don't think you can remove this. I think it's permanently stuck like that. So the straps are not adjustable. You can't adjust its um, length. Um, at the very front here, there is a pocket that from what I can feel, it's about that wide and it goes all the way to the bottom of the bag. So perfect to fit a phone in. I mean, I wish I had a phone to show you, but I'm actually filming with it at the moment. So I can't do that. Um, but my Apple 11 Pro, I believe it, it is, um, fits nicely in there. And then the opening of the bag actually goes all the way to the bottom. So let me show you like that. And there is a gusset um, as well. So um, things don't fall out of your bag. I love that the zips go all the way down like that on both sides. So the bag actually opens quite wide. And I think that's what everyone fell in love with, um, the Sydney Satchel and also the Rachel. Um, and it looks like there's a little tab here at the bottom as well. So you can grab that to open and close your bag. I haven't needed to do that because like I said, the bag is structured, so it's very easy to open and close. And at the back, you've got the same size pocket as well, and it pretty much mirrors the front, so that's pretty cool. And these straps are detachable, so you've got these um, clips that you can open and close and just unhook it. Then you've got D-rings, one on each side, and as you can see, there's a D-ring sitting at the front of the bag and the other side is at the back, so um, when you wear it crossbody, it's actually really comfortable. And when you open the bag, like I said, it goes all the way to the bottom and it's got a really nice wide opening. So at the back you have a pocket with a um, zip closure and it's a really large, large pocket. And just underneath that there is a tag that says um, fossil on it and that's made out of leather. And when you turn the bag around you have two other slip pockets here um, that are very generous size and it goes all the way to the bottom of the bag. And that's all for the internal organisation. I love that the lining is a light colour so it's really easy to find things. So if you're not a fan of the um, tassel here, it is removable. So as you can see there, it just comes right off. But if you do like it, you just pull it all the way through and it's um, very secure. I mean, I don't mind it too much. I mean, what do you guys think? So here's a close up of the leather. As you can see, there is some texture to it. It's not overly pebbly and it doesn't have like a gloss to the leather. It still um, feels really nice, structured sort of bag. Now the hardware is the only thing that bothers me a little bit because it's a bit of like a yellow uh, shiny gold. I mean, I know some of you ladies love it, so it won't bother you guys. Um, but to me, for this size bag and the amount of hardware on this bag, it's not too bad. Um, and the actual uh, zip itself doesn't look like it's that shiny. It's more just the um, a little um, a clasp here that attack like that's on the end of the messenger strap that looks quite yellow compared to all the other hardware so if you see there even that clasp 
like hooked onto the d-ring you can see that there's a little bit of a color difference i mean yeah the class there looks a little bit more gold and yellow than the actual d-ring so it's not too bad on this um, size bag i mean even the zipper pull here like i mentioned earlier is made out of leather it's not made out of the gold so i think that really helps overall i think it the gold does complement the fig color really well. I think in the camera, it's actually showing a little bit more of a like burgundy sort of color. It's very similar to what I see in real life here, but in real life, it's just a tad darker, I think. Um, but this is pretty close. It's a really nice color. The other really cool thing about this bag, even though it is like a smaller sort of bag, you don't actually think that it would fit a lot, but the way it opens, I mean, look at it. Like what bag can open that wide? I mean. Um, I'll have to pack it up one day and, and do a little uh, review for you guys. Um, I don't pack it up in a fancy way or use pouches because it's a small bag, really easy to find things. I'm just amazed at how it opens. It's, uh, it's rare to find a bag that um, opens this wide and it just makes it so functional. So yeah, even though it is a smaller sort of, sort of bag, it, it's quite deceiving. I mean, you think that you won't be able to fit a lot. I know that a lot of mamas use this to put all their planner type things in there. I'm not really a planner type girl, so I don't really need it for that. I know that the price tag can be a little bit pricey at its retail price, but they often do sales and like outlet sort of bags. I mean, if you're interested in a bag like this, there will be a sale for Christmas or Mother's Day or something like that, and you'll be able to find a great bargain on these bags. So when you get an outlet bag or if you buy a bag of beer's tea that's been used, you can get it for dirt cheap. I remember, paying about 140 bucks Australian for this bag, brand new, but on eBay and BSC, I've seen it go for $60, $50. So it's not very expensive for a leather bag. Um, so yeah, I'll leave it there. I don't want to uh, ramble too much and bore you guys. But once again, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. I really appreciate you guys coming. I would love to see you at the next one. Bye.